President Biden and former President Trump appear to be going into non-traditional spaces when it comes to debating ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Skylar Henry gives us a closer look at a rare moment of agreement between the two presumptive nominees as they prepare to square off in face-to-face -face meetings. It started with a challenge from President Biden on social media. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Former President Trump responded with his own social media post. He said, just tell me when I'll be there. Let's get ready to rumble. I really think he has to debate. He might as well get it over with. Probably no. should do it early so that he can, you know, he's not going to get any better. While it may appear these debates came together in one morning, the two campaigns have been negotiating for a while. Currently, two face-to-face -face meetings are planned. The first on June 27th, hosted by CNN in Atlanta. The second, hosted by ABC on September 10th, before early voting begins. The debates are not expected to have a live audience, and the Biden campaign wants moderators to be able to cut the mic when it's not someone's turn to speak. We can do it in a manner where the rules are enforceable and that the American people have the opportunity to actually hear from the candidates before they cast their ballots. Since the late 80s, a nonpartisan commission has hosted the general election debates and set the criteria, but this year, neither of the presumptive nominees seemed interested in working with the commission. I hate to use this uh, group that does the debates because they cheated. They turned the sound off during one of my debates, and they, they go out of their way to help the Democrat, but that's okay. You know, it doesn't matter. The Biden and Trump campaigns both agreed to rules that would keep Robert F. Kennedy Jr. off the debate stage. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.